Error code P0340, 3.7 liter Dodge. This is a 2004, to be exact. All right, this doesn't have the air box here, so we can actually get to the camshaft position sensor, which is camera focus, right? My finger's on the harness right there, you see that? All right, this one, the, the fender wells have been cut out for bigger tires, so we can see it really easily from the bottom too, right here. All right, there's our 10 millimeter bolt right there that holds it in. This was drenched in oil, and I'm assuming that's why it's pulling the code. I sprayed it off with brake cleaner. If we come up, we can see we got a pretty nice little leak from the valve cover gasket. It's dripping oil onto that cam sensor. We're gonna pull that cam sensor out and check it out. Pulled it out, disconnected the harness, just press in and pull. And look at that, there's a big old gouge in the O-ring. I assume this has been replaced before because on our bolt, we got some anti-seize. Somebody pulled the code, decided to change the sensor. The problem was probably just oil. We'll see what happens though. I cleaned it up and we got this big gouge in the uh, O-ring. They probably forced it in when they replaced it. I don't know, but we got our O-ring kit out. We're gonna put a new O-ring in it. Cleaned it out with some electrical cleaner, with some spray. And uh, yeah, let's put a new O-ring on it and see if we can pull that code again. Important note, if you're pulling a camshaft sensor code, uh, your vehicle may not rev up above 2,500 RPMs. It's like a safety, all right? We got our cleaned up, reinstalled new O-ring down in there. Now we're gonna clear the codes and take it for a test drive. When you're putting your new sensor in, make sure you lubricate the O-ring, help it slide in there without tearing like the last guy did. Check it out, y'all. Still getting the code. We're getting a P0344. Isn't that a little different? Wasn't it a P0340 before? All right, so it's intermittent now. Ooh, that's weird. Still can't rev up above 2,500. If the engine's cold, if it's in open loop still, it'll run fine. Then when it warms up, the code will trigger because it's closed loop, and then you won't be able to rev above 2,500. You might have stalling or whatever. All right, let's take that harness back off and test for voltage. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how I tested this sensor using no special tools, just multimeter. You pick one up for five bucks at Harbor Freight or whatever. All right, we put it to DC voltage. Come over here, Justin. All right, so we got our sensor out, right? All right, what you wanna do is test this. Get that sensor out of there. Hold that to ground, or maybe we can just put it in there. Hopefully that's a good, yeah. We come over to our wiring harness with the key on engine off. We got five volts on both outside prongs. Five volts right there. And your middle should be a ground. Make sure it's a good ground. Put your tester on positive, then your black lead in the middle, and it should go to, uh, go ahead, put it on power. Boom, and it should go to 12 volts. We're good. Now, if you plug the sensor in, do, 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 do. All right. So your red wire, it looks like it's like brown and white. Brown and white should always remain at five volts. So you can probe test it with the end of this. It's not good for your wires, but whatever. And it's five volts, right? Now, the green, green and white wire, the other outside wire. Now, we got our tester on the ground terminal of the battery. We're gonna ground that sensor and it should go to zero when it's grounded. I'm trying to get a good ground here. You can see it flickering as I rub it against the AC line. I'm trying to get a good ground. I should really run like a ground test wire for the, for the video. Anyways, it'll drop to zero if it's a good ground on the tip of the sensor. Right there, it dropped to zero for a second. So this AC line is, is actually grounded on this vehicle so I can rub it against it, but it's really dirty. Off camera, I put a ground to it and it dropped down to zero. 
that's what you're looking for is five volts drops down to zero. Now, while this sensor was warm, the voltage was at, uh, was at 0.5 all the time, whether it was grounded or not. So I cooled the sensor down and uh, then it started working normally. So when this tip of the sensor is grounded, it should be at zero volts. And then when it's not grounded, it's back up to five volts. But after the, cool, after the sensor cooled down, it was working normally. While it was hot, it would just stay at, it was like 0.5, just for no reason, 0.54 volts. So I know the sensor's bad. That's how we test that. I hope I explained it good. Did I explain it all right, Justin? Did yeah. sound about right? Yeah, I think you nailed all right. it. All right, so we know we got a bad cam sensor. So let's go replace it. Highly recommend use an OEM part not some cheap Napa brand or auto value brand or something. And uh, we're gonna replace it and see if it takes care of the code. Most of the time it's not the cam sensor, it seems like. It's some other problem. But for this one, it's the cam sensor. 